Elon Musk has become one of the most influential names in the 21st century. Perhaps his most impressive feat has been the founding of his rocket company, SpaceX. In the last couple of years, they have successfully launched numerous rockets into space, even taking humans to the International Space Station and back again. In order to get to this point, SpaceX had to overcome a lot of failed launches. Launches that, at the time, nearly cost the company everything. Through these failures came innovation and change, leading to the SpaceX that we all know today. So, sit back as we take a look at five SpaceX launches that went horribly wrong. Elon Musk is known for being an innovator, making possible what was once thought of as impossible. Prior to Musk making his mark in the space industry, NASA had been launching shuttles and satellites into space using boosters that would detach and simply fall back into the ocean where they would be collected and reused. Musk decided that this method was not as practical. So he and his team developed a way for the boosters to not only guide themselves back down to Earth, but to be able to land standing upright. I'm sure we've all seen this somewhere online by now, but these landings didn't always go according to plan. On January 17th of 2016, a Falcon 9 rocket launched to carry the Jason 3 International Oceanography Satellite in space. It was a picture-perfect launch with the stages separating as planned. The only thing left was for the rocket to land on the barge in the ocean. Cameras were rolling as the engine performed its self-correcting maneuvers and lined up with the platform for its landing. The rocket gently set itself down and the engines cut out. But, after about two or three seconds, it became evident that something was wrong. After the rocket touched down and the landing arms made contact with the platform, one of the arms didn't fully lock into place. The weight of the rocket was too much and it fell over, resulting in an incredible explosion on impact. No one was on board the barge, so no injuries happened as a result. Elon Musk has not been shy about telling the world why he decided to start pursuing a space program. It was his goal to not only reduce the cost of space transportation, but to send people to Mars. He understands that our planet can only support us for so long, and that we would eventually need to look to other heavenly bodies on which to settle and start new civilizations. In doing this, Musk's SpaceX program had to come up with some truly unique designs. Massive spacecraft that could not only get people into space, but that could also maneuver and land as no other spacecraft had done in history. That is how SpaceX's Starship design came about. On December 23rd of 2020, SpaceX conducted its high-altitude test flight of Starship SN8. During this test, the 12-story tall craft launched to an altitude of about 12.5 kilometers by way of its three Raptor engines. Once it reached its pinnacle, the engines shut off and the Starship fell horizontally back towards the Earth in a controlled belly flop position headed towards its launch pad. Just before touching down, the Starship fired a booster to flip it vertically so that it could land upright. The quick descent was a bit too much and the rocket landed too hard, resulting in a brilliant fireball. To most people, this crash would be a huge disappointment, but Elon Musk isn't most people. He was actually pleased with how the test went, even going so far as to say that he actually expected the craft to crash. In Musk's mind, every failure is an opportunity to learn something new. So, 
He knew and understood that this crash was a step closer towards his dream of putting mankind on Mars. The Starship portion of SpaceX has gone through quite a few prototypes, each one changing slightly from the last as engineers learn about the mistakes and how to correct them. After the SN8 explosion, Musk and the rest of his SpaceX crew pressed on with the testing of Starship SN9. The routine was the same. It would launch a few miles above the surface of the Earth and have a controlled fall back down where it would end up landing. At least, that was the plan. Much like the SN8, that's not quite what happened. <laughs> this is crazy. As the rocket came back down, it was unable to slow itself down enough or even get vertical. The cause for this is assumed to be a failure of one of the three engines on board. Because the engine never ignited, there was nowhere near enough thrust to properly slow down the rocket. SpaceX took this information and used it to enhance future tests, finally leading to a successful launch and landing of SN-15. With Musk's ultimate goal being to send people into space, it is obviously imperative that there should be a great number of tests done. We've all seen the Challenger explosion and what can happen should the slightest thing go wrong during launch. So every single little detail needs to be right so that if disaster does strike, it's during the testing phase where there are no humans involved. As SpaceX continued to train for manned missions, it would also send rockets up to refuel the International Space Station. These launches served both as tests for their own missions while serving a purpose for NASA, who SpaceX had partnered with. On June 28, 2015, SpaceX CRS-7 launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida on a mission to bring supplies up to the space station. It was a picturesque launch up until 139 seconds into the flight. At this point, a cloud of white vapor appeared. A few seconds later, after the second stage of the rocket was supposed to separate, the rocket completely broke apart. It was determined that a strut that was supposed to keep high-pressure helium and liquid oxygen separated failed. The gas flowed into a liquid oxygen tank, causing it to overpressurize and burst. Independent NASA investigations also found that the strut was not made of aerospace-grade material as was recommended, which could have ultimately played a part in the failure. Early on in the life of SpaceX, tests were done on a number of different rockets. One of them was the Falcon 1. During these series of tests, there were some failures and explosions that revealed a lot about design flaws that needed to be changed. But that's just part of the learning process, according to Musk. This video brings us to August 2nd, 2008, and the third test of the Falcon 1 rocket. A number of cameras were placed in various places on the rocket to give the best views of the launch. The engines lit and the rocket took off, a near-perfect launch. Once it reached an altitude of 217 kilometers, the second stage separated from the first. But there was a problem. The first stage hadn't quite completed its burn. When the two stages separated, the first stage actually came back and made contact with the second stage again. 
This caused the second stage of the rocket to be knocked off course quite a bit. The result wasn't exactly a huge explosion or some incredible disaster, at least at first. What happened was that it failed to reach orbit, eventually falling back through the atmosphere and burning up as it did. This miscalculation was due to some adjustments after the first two failed launches. While these other adjustments were made, the burn time of the first stage remained unchanged, a simple mistake that led to the destruction of the rocket. Regardless of the program's past failures, SpaceX has proven to be one of the most innovative and industry-leading space programs in the history of the world. It'll be very interesting to see which direction they take us in next. To see more videos of ours just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.